You can use the create program command to create your own program when you want to run a program that is different or doesn't exist in Spooky2 software. Now, let me show you how to do this. For example, we find a backache program on the internet and add it to the Spooky2 software database. From the top menu, we click the file and create program. There is a hint. Give your program a descriptive name this will assist you when you do a program search. We will name the program as Backache. And this is another hint. Frequencies and optional advanced commands are entered using a comma to separate each program step. Then we enter frequencies of Backache on here. 727 comma Please notice no space between the comma and the next frequency is needed. Then 787, 880, 10,000. The next step is setting the dwell. If you don't know how much duration you want to run each frequency, you can use the default duration and the unit in second. Moreover, we can enter notes for this program. When we search up program in the programs tab, the search results will include notes too. We enter backache from internet. Finally, we can click this icon to save the program and click yes to save and exit. Spooky2 software will reload the frequency database. Now it is finished, we can search the programs in the Programs tab. The quickest way is to use this button to untick it and only tick CUST and we will see the created program here. And we can create a preset to run it. Go to the Presets tab, shell bracket empty close bracket preset, remote, healing, bracket r close bracket hyphen hyphen jw then go to the programs tab and double click to choose it we back to the presets tab and click this icon give it a new name backache hyphen kate 170620 and click save the preset will be saved under the user column. Double click to choose it. Go to the control tab, tick overwrite generator, click a free generator. After the frequencies are loaded, you can click start. For professional users, you can also enter a very powerful command to your frequencies. Then you do not need to choose any preset. From the top menu, we click the File and Create Program. In the example, we will write the frequencies randomly. Give the program name Test. There are commands. The triple X hyphen triple Y means to create a sweep the frequency from triple X hertz to triple Y hertz. For example, we want the frequency sweep from 10 hertz to 100 hertz. We can enter this. We want the dwell to be 240 seconds. So we enter equals 240. Regarding waveform, 1 is for sine, 2 is for square, 3 is for sawtooth. We want to use a square wave, so we enter W2. And we want the amplitude to be 5 volts, so we can enter A05. The next frequency is 23, then 60. The settings will follow the first frequency. When it runs frequency 23, the waveform will still be square and the amplitude will still 5.
For more commands, you can check Create Program in the User menu. Now, we will save this test program and click Yes. The software will reload the frequencies and we will go back to the Programs tab. We can still see the cust is tick. So there is a total of three programs here. And we double click to choose the test program as we have set the waveform amplitude frequencies. So we can directly go to Control tab, tick Overwrite Generator, open a generator and click Start. You can see the waveform is square. The amplitude is 5 volts. Let's check the second frequency. Still square wave and 5 volts. For new users, we suggest using the shell preset here. If you want the whole database to appear, then you can use this button. Select all the available databases. Okay. Thanks for watching this video.